station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Gary Jordan. This week, cargo makes its way to the International Space Station in the fast lane. The Russian Progress 72 lifted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on Thursday, loaded with three tons of food, fuel, and supplies. It only took two orbits around the Earth to complete its ultra-fast journey to the orbiting complex, docking just over three hours after liftoff. Progress is scheduled to remain attached to the space station until late July. One final spacewalk coming up in this set, this time for an extra path of power to the Canadarm2. Anne McLean, Nick Haig, and Christina Cook have already completed two spacewalks to upgrade batteries on two of the eight power channels on the space station. The last in this series of three is set for Monday, where Anne McLean will head out the hatch once again, this time with Canadian astronaut David St. Jacques, to lay out some jumper cables that will establish a redundant path of power to the Canadian-built robotic arm of the space station and improve communication and computer network capability. We'll cover the whole thing live on NASA TV and Facebook Live. Join us on April 8th. This week's question comes from Jennifer, who asks why astronauts wear gloves during spacewalks. They're an essential part of the spacesuit, maybe more than you might think. We might call it a spacewalk, but there's pretty much no walking involved. All of the movement across the outside of the space station, all of the tool handling, really the most important tasks in a microgravity spacewalk are conducted with these gloves. The gloves are fitted specially for each astronaut and flown up with them in the Soyuz vehicle. The spacesuits are pressurized to a low 4.3 PSI to make squeezing their hands in the gloves a bit easier, even though it's still pretty tough. Your next step for now is to give me a glove check. <laughs> Copy. Listen into the spacewalk on Monday, and you might hear glove checks throughout the planned six and a half hour run. These are to validate the integrity of this critical spacesuit component. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.